In this video, I want to provide some more practice at simplifying difference quotients. That is, this thing right here, it's a quotient of a difference. Very clever name, ha ha ha. Anyways, it's, it's, it's essentially just the average rate of change formula. So given the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 1, how can we simplify this, this difference quotient, right? Remembering along the way that h doesn't equal 0 because, oh no, we can't divide by 0. Uh, we don't want that to happen. So as we try to compute this thing, uh, notice that f of a plus h means plug a plus h into the function. So each x gets replaced with an a plus h. Uh, this would look like, for us, 2 times a plus h squared minus 5 times a plus h plus 1. And then we're going to subtract from that f of a, which just means you plug in a for each of these x's here, in which case you end up with 2a squared minus 5a plus 1. And this all sits on top of h. Now, our motivation when we simplify a difference quotient is our goal is to get rid of the h on the bottom. h stands for hate. We got to get rid of the hate. And that is what our goal is trying to be right now. And that'll come by simplifying or expanding the numerator in some degree, right? We want to cancel some like terms. For example, there's a one, mi there's a one minus one. Those cancel out pretty quickly. Uh, the next thing I want to do is foil out this a plus h squared. Uh, if we do that, we're going to get 2 times a squared plus 2ah plus h squared, just by the usual FOIL method, My, uh, minus 5 times a plus h, and then we subtract from here 2a squared minus 5a, and this sits above h. The next thing I want to do is distribute all of these coefficients through, whoops, I missed one, distribute, distribute, and if we do that, we're going to end up with a 2a squared plus a 4ah plus a 2h squared. We're going to get a minus 5a, and we're going to get a minus 5h. And then we subtract from that a 2a squared minus 5a. Now that everything in the numerator is completely expanded out, don't forget your denominator, of course, h. It's along for the ride. When you, when you multiply the denominator out, you'll notice that our, everything in the second group is going to cancel with something in the first group. It's sort of like playing uh, hide and go seek right now, right? You'll notice here there's a 2a squared and a 2 8 squared. They're going to cancel each other because, after all, there is a negative sign right there. You're also going to notice that there is a negative 5a right here and there's a negative 5 here. They're going to cancel each other because, again, we're subtracting them. They cancel each other out. You're going to notice that oftentimes college algebra very much is a cancel culture. Uh, we're always trying to cancel everyone. Um, all the variables, they must be canceled. Um, when we look at who survives the massacre, which we call the numerator, you're going to have a 4AH plus a 2H squared uh, minus a 5H in the numerator. This is all over H, of course. But notice actually a happy accident has, has now occurred. There is a multiple of A for every term in the numerator. If we factor out that A, not A, I'm sorry, if we factor out the H, uh, that will leave behind a 4A, that's where the A came from, plus a 2H minus a 5 uh, times that eight by h over h, you'll notice that now, because we have a multiple of h in the numerator, that'll cancel with the h in the denominator we never wanted in the first place. And that's left leaving us with a 4a plus 2h minus 5. And this is the simplified difference quotient. Uh, this gives us a simple formula for the average rate of change. Now, if this is a calculus class, we would take the next step and send h to zero, right? But no, 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 this is not a calculus class. We don't do that. That's really the only difference from calculus, right? Calculus is just going the next step. Uh, we basically have to sit on the precipice of this cliff, watching, 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 without the capacity of, you know, paragliding off of it, uh, paragliding off of that. That's what we want to do. The fun part's next. But we can't do it because our curriculum restricts us from taking the next step, from jumping off that cliff into the beautiful water below. Uh, we get this average rate of change, which is going to be 4a plus 2h minus 5.